Welcome back to another fabulous episode of the Phyllis Fam Baby Journey. I am Raquel. And I'm Derek. And today we are 31 weeks pregnant <laughs> with our daughter Legacy. But by the time y'all see this, I'm going to actually be 32. But I realized that I need to start stockpiling some of these episodes because I can have this baby at any moment. Which is what we discovered this past Wednesday. On April 17th, I had taken a shower. I was moisturizing because y'all know I put on about eight different moisturizers in the morning time. And I felt something run down my leg. And at first I thought, hmm, coconut oil don't run. <laughs> but let me get a mirror and check this out because with this belly, when I look down, I see nothing but belly. And as I walked to get a mirror, I started making more fluid and even had a little small puddle on the floor. We have went to our childbirth class the week prior and they said that when your water breaks, it's not as dramatic as it seems on the movies with a big gush of water for every woman. For every woman. Uh, some women just kind of get like a trickle that kind of feels like pee a little bit or something like that. Uh, I know it wasn't urine because literally before I got in the shower, I had just went. So I called my doctor and explained what was going on. They told me, it sounds like your water may have ruptured prematurely and I need to head to labor and delivery. Scary. <laughs> yeah, and so it was a very scary morning. We were running around the house like crazy people because we had absolutely nothing packed to go to the hospital. At that point, we were 30 weeks pregnant. Right. Yep. No hospital bath for me, him, or the dog who laid over here on the couch. I can probably see her booty or something in this frame. Not quite sure. But that video has prompted us to do a what's in my hospital bag video since we had to pack them <laughs> just in case for emergency. Um, at the end of us going through these bags, I'm going to show you the footage that I recorded from that scary morning so that you can see kind of the motion that I felt and kind of how it resolved itself. All right, baby. See, he has now prepared an immaculate bag. He ready to go to the hospital I'm ready. for real, for real. So we're gonna go through his bag and I'm gonna show y'all my bag, which is pretty much still the same bag that I packed under the rest. <laughs> And it, and it still ain't right. <laughs> you learned your lesson. <laughs> but I'm gonna get it there though. But we're gonna go through yours first. So what you got, baby? Alright, first it started with got all of my my toiletries. So, you know, the basics, the soap, the toothbrush. Yeah, you gotta put it in the uh, camera so they can see. So you got the toiletries. All, that, all the toiletries, you know that's You know the stuff you need to make sure your booty ain't stinking and your sure breath I'm, ain't stinking. I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I have some Comfy clothes, jogging pants, comfortable shirt, a whole another jogging suit. The house will be cold. Yeah, exactly. I also gonna bring a pillow and blanket to make sure I'm comfortable. Got my my Gucci slides my wife bought me last summer. Yeah, because he got to be fine in the hospital. The baby needs to know his daddy wear Gucci. I'm to be styling and profiling. <laughs> and I got my, my laptop, my MacBook. Oh my, can't forget all of the chargers. Got, what else we got? I got all kind of stuff in here. Oh, I got my, my book I'm going to be reading while I'm in the hospital. Also, Drop oh, May 1st. You can't forget the Red Bulls. I know may be up for a long time, so that Red Bull will give me the wings I need. Because if I see him sleep <laughs> while I'm in labor, oh, 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 oh this is going to be problems. Then I got my... Uh, Bluetooth earbuds, so if she gets the yelling too loud, I can just put these in and <laughs> really? hopefully, hopefully that'll help the, the, the noise. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm, uh, I got the bare necessities. I got all the hygiene, I got all the comfortable clothes, shoes, and of course the electronics. Of course, I'm going to have my phone as well. So it'll be good to go. Alright, put your bag on the floor. Let's go through Let's see what you got. Let's go through my bag. Let's see what you work on it. So, once I realized that we were going to the hospital, I had a full-fledged, ugly cry breakdown, okay? I walked into Legacy's closet and just was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> we have none of the stuff we need for a baby. We don't have the crib yet. We don't even have a car seat. 
And I'm thinking about all the stuff that we don't have, but in reality, if I would have given birth at 30 weeks and four days, our baby would have been in NICU for about seven weeks. So she wouldn't have needed a car seat. She wouldn't have needed a crib immediately because she wasn't gonna be able to come home. So once that fact hit me, that made me cry even harder. Like, oh my gosh, this is not what I was prepared for, a premature baby. I'm thinking, you know, I'm going full term. I'm trying to make sure that she come June 21st, her due date or after, because I want a cancer baby. No offense to y'all Geminis, but I'm a cancer. So <laughs> that's what I'm rooting for. Um, none of the baby's clothes have been washed yet. Granted, I don't have a ton of baby clothes. And so I went in there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what the grass is going to be so tiny. But... All I grabbed, I grabbed two things, a receiving blanket and a little bow <laughs> that she would wear. And I'm like, Lord, I just had her pajamas on top here. Where that baby pajamas? Oh, okay, my bag a mess. And some pajamas. <laughs> that, that was it. I was like, she doesn't even have a cute going home outfit or anything to wear. Um, so that's all that I was taking for the baby because... That's all I got. <laughs> um, but I did grab our Canon camera. And I know probably y'all, some of y'all probably thinking, they got this nice Canon. What are they filming on? A Sony Handycam because I, yeah, I can't figure out how to work this camera besides just taking pictures. So I don't know how to use it for videos. <laughs> so if you know how to use this, call me so I can get some better quality videos. <laughs> Um, and so we went on our baby moon to Paris. I took the extra pair of house shoes. <laughs> so I threw them up in there. I got a scarf so I can wrap up my head so I don't be looking too crazy. Uh, for me to come home, honey, I, I literally, I brought just one outfit. I was just thinking, <laughs> what? I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't want anything tight. I'm not gonna wanna probably put on any pants. Honey, so I grabbed the dress <laughs> that I had on in the pregnancy announcement video when we got the good news that we was having her so it's kind of sentimental in a sense it's symbolic <laughs> uh i got a robe so that i could you know easily you know breastfeed the baby uh nursing bra nothing too special there okay now we get to this good stuff <laughs> so i've been watching some people's uh diaper not diaper bag but hospital bag videos they've been putting the pins and all type of overnight maxi pads. Oh, First baby. So I was like, what you need all that for? <laughs> and I started doing research like, oh, I'm gonna bleed for how long and how much? Like, ooh. So I just happened to be in Target because I like to buy everything on sale, okay? And so these were $8.38 for the discreet uh, underwear. Normal price is $11.99, so we saved a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has 10 pair in there, so. Postpartum, hopefully those have me covered. I know the hospital will give me some, I've heard them being referred to as pear underwear <laughs> um, to wear, which are disposable as well. But we're gonna see which ones are more comfortable uh, and, and go from there. Uh, obviously I got my toiletries, I can't be up in there stinking. Um, we also have some massage balls. Yeah, because when I'm in labor, I'm going to need him to be rubbing my back or something. Yeah, yeah you like that? You like that? Yeah, yeah, I grabbed them. Oh, I do have a nightgown in here. And some undies. That's it. So, <laughs> if I miss anything vital, I'm going to need y'all to drop that down below. <laughs> Which I'm sure I probably am. In my purse, I have Vaseline. Um... As I know, chap lips was something that a lot of people said that they had while they were there. Um, but that's that's it. I'll uh, hopefully have baby's clothes washed <laughs> the next time that we need to make a run to the hospital. Um, but yeah, and I'll also be packing this camera that we're recording on the little tripod that I use as well. Because I'm going to be bringing y'all the birth story. And like I said, just keep watching and you can see the clips from... The day that we had our first and hopefully last false alarm. Fingers crossed. Now make sure you subscribe to this channel because we bring new content every Sunday. And we would love for you to join the Phillips fam. We out. Peace. Today is April 17th. A far cry from the due date of June 21st. 
I am panicked. If not, I've calmed down some now. Uh, I'm sure I look a mess, eyes puffy. But I woke up this morning um, to get ready for work. Got out the shower, was putting on some coconut oil, and I felt something run down my leg. Now, at first, I thought maybe it was a coconut oil, but it made no sense because coconut oil is pretty solid. Um, and so I went to grab a mirror so that I can look down there to see what was going on and more liquid fluid started coming out um, and it was dripping across my bathroom floor now when I went to my childbirth class just this past Saturday um, they said you know when your water breaks it could be a trickle or it could be a big gush Listen, so we in the car and my husband just went on the window to throw something out and I hate little bugs to my core. <laughs> he told about it was food. I'm like, I don't care what it was, you gotta wait till you got to a trash can. <laughs> but um so I called the hospital. Well I called my doctor, um, and they told me that I need to go into labor and delivery. Because pretty much if your water is broken, I have about twenty four hours before I'm gonna live with this deliver this baby. There's nothing they can do if the water is broken. Um, so I, I'm hoping that there's some other explanation to why I was leaking that amount of fluid and that it's not my water. But right now we are hit as labor and delivery. And I'm just praying with all my heart and soul that my baby is not coming today. I am only 30 weeks pregnant. Um, 30 weeks in let's see. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 30 weeks and five days. Um, it's not time yet. Literally had nothing packed, no type of hospital bag. I had a video planned to show what we were putting in our hospital bags. Um, literally, we have nothing for the baby as far as a car seat, a crib, any of that type of stuff because my baby shower wasn't until May 4th. Um, and so we're hoping to, you know, get some of those items then. Um, and then whatever we didn't get, you know, go get the rest of those items. But if the baby does come today, she would have to stay in the hospital for at least six weeks, six or seven weeks. Um, so once again, I'm really hoping that it's something else. Um, but in that six, seven weeks that she's in the hospital, you know, we'll be able to get stuff together for her to bring her home. Um, I am thankful that she is past the point of being viable, so baby will live, just will have to stay in the NICU until she grows stronger and bigger. <sighs> Alright, well I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, and also I don't have any type of cramps or contractions or anything like that going on. Um, so once again, I'm, I'm just hoping that it's something else. All right, I am back with good news. Thankfully, the fluid that was leaking was not amniotic fluid. Baby is okay. Mommy's okay. We're in the hospital. Um, they have me set up to a monitor so we can hear a heartbeat. There's no contractions. My blood pressure is good. Just waiting for my doctor to come, uh, you know, to come check me out. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to be going home today. So no baby today, thank God.